Months after the Virginia Beach mass shooting, city leaders say they're proud of the recovery of a coping workforce. But there's still a long road ahead to create a safe place for employees to work. 13 News Now investigative reporter Evan Watson brings us the details from a shooting recovery presentation at City Hall. One big takeaway, retirements are up, especially among employees who worked in Building 2. Virginia Beach City leaders are acknowledging a drain on city employees in the recovery from the mass shooting. Give us time. Give, give the employees time to get through this disillusionment period. Director of Public Works Mark Johnson said the recent lobbying effort and vote in favor of a Second Amendment rights resolution in Virginia Beach was hurtful to many employees. And I'll tell you, the Second Amendment issue, it tanked a lot of people. And uh, they're coming out of that. Meanwhile, some of those employees have decided to call it a career. Retirements for employees who worked in Building 2 have increased by 40% since May 31st. The retirements uh, combined with the tight labor market, the tendency for more frequent uh, job changes among our uh, newer, younger workers, that's resulted in vacancy rates in these departments ranging from 10 to 13 percent. Acting City Manager Tom Leahy said normal vacancy rates are about half of that, and the exodus is straining the workforce. It's a knowledge drain as, experience as experienced employees are leaving. Uh, it puts larger workloads on the existing workforce, including the a uh, very time consuming effort of recruiting and onboarding employees to fill the vacancies. Almost 500 employees have filed workers' compensation claims so far. City staff is reviewing the recommendations of the independent investigation and will present a plan of action to council in February. But right now, city leaders are asking for empathy and patience. In Virginia Beach, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.